same. You remain the same. Unchangeable God. You remain the same. You remain the same. You remain the same. Abraham, you remain the same. You can do it for me. You remain the same. Jehovah, you remain the same. Jehovah, you remain the you same. You raised Joseph to the palace. You remain the same. You will lift me. Same. Jehovah, you remain the same. Jehovah, you remain the same. The Bible says that we are out of that deep marketplace, and He sets them on a king's. Look at Jennifer, say he remains the same. Praise God. God bless you. God bless you. Greet your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shake your neighbor and say, neighbor, you are blessed. I can't hear you. I say, shake that neighbor and say, neighbor, you are blessed. You are blessed. Neighbor. You are blessed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I, 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 I was speaking in the morning and I was saying that one of the things you must always learn to say is I am blessed. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. It's I am blessed. Praise God. Amen. Praise the name of the living God. Praise the name of the living God. Amen. I want you to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Where, is your oil? where is your oil? I shake that neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. Where, is where is your oil? If your neighbor is not shakeable, move them and say, neighbor, neighbor. where is your oil? Is your oil? Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to rush your Bible to the book of Matthew chapter number 25. Amen. Matthew chapter number 25. Amen. Hallelujah. Matthew chapter number 25. Oh God, 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 God. Look at your neighbor and say, I don't feel the anointing. I don't feel the anointing. I carry the anointing. I carry the anointing. I don't feel the anointing. I don't feel the anointing. I carry the anointing. I all right, from verse number one. Verse number one, Matthew chapter 25. Then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins, which took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. And five of them were wise and five were foolish. They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. But the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps while the bridegroom tarried. They all slumbered and slept. Mm. Amen. And at midnight there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Then all those virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us our, your oil. For our lamps are gone out. But the wise answered saying, Not so, lest there be not enough for us and you. But go ye rather to them that sell and buy for yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came. And they that were ready went in with him to the marriage. And the door was shut. Afterwards came also the other virgins saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. But he answered and said, Verily I say unto you, I know you not. Watch therefore, 
For ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. For the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven is as a man traveling into a far country who called into his Preach. own heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh! Okay. Hallelujah. Where is your oil? Uh, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Where is your oil? 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 Amen. The Bible brings us a parable, but a parable is, has a hidden meaning. Amen. Every time Jesus wanted to illustrate something about the kingdom, he would come through teaching mm -hmm. with a parable. Tell me more, tell me more. So Jesus comes and in his explanation, he began to explain and he says, there were ten virgins. Ten. Virginity means purity. Purity. Mm. They were pure. Pure. Yes, sir. And all of them had lamps. Somebody say, I must shine my shine. I must shine my shine. I look at your best. I must shine my shine. I must shine my shine. So all of them, they were virgins. They had lamps. Uh -huh. But there was something that five were missing. Missing. What made them to be called, my God. Jesus. Uh, take the keyboard. The keyboard. Feedback. What made them to be called foolish yes. was because they did not have oil. No oil. Foolishness was not the state of mind. Yes. Foolishness was the absence of oil. Somebody say, Ukobo. Ukobo. Ororo. Ororo. Mafuta. Mafuta. Foolishness. Foolishness. Was by oil. Oil. Okay. Yes, sir. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Yes, sir. Am I communicating to somebody here? Yes, sir. It was by oil. By oil. So foolishness is not the state of mind. Foolishness is your absenteeism of what makes you shine. Jesus. Because without the oil, their lamps would not light. Lord. Ah. What is dimming your lamp? Who is Lack of oil invites insults. Hey, Jesus. They were never going to be called foolish if they had oil. Yeah. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. No matter what car you drive, uh -huh. if it is lacking oil, the engine ceases to work. To move. Tell us, sir. Tell Any us. believer who leaves this earth and operates without oil invites insults in their lives. My God, deliver me, Lord. Am I communicating to somebody Jesus. here? Jesus. I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? I will never lack oil. Am I communicating to somebody yes, here? Yes, sir. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. When you read your Bible, you understand there were men like Elijah. Yes, At another time, they came to arrest Elijah in the mountain. And the Bible says Elijah looked at them. Uh -huh. And Elijah said, if I be a man of God, uh -huh. let fire come down. Fifty men were roasted like briar. Yeah, another yeah. fifty men came. He said the same prayer. If I be a man of God, uh -huh. let fire come down and roast them. They were roasted like briar. Hear me? When you carry or you, you are a custodian of results. Jesus. Talk to me, Papa. Mm. What differentiates you and other people is the oil you carry. Hey, Amen. oil. The oil you carry. Oil. The oil you carry. Second Samuel chapter number one, verse 21. The oil you carry. The oil you carry. When a car does not have oil, it ceases to move. Second Samuel chapter 21. Chapter 1 verse 21. When a car does not have oil, it ceases to move. How many people are crying, my life is stagnant. It is not about them being stagnant. It is the absenteeism of oil. oil. Oh, somebody say, I need oil. I need oil. Somebody say, I need oil. I need oil. 
Where is your oil? Second Samuel chapter 1 verse 21. Uh -huh. You mountains of Gilboa. You mountains of Gilboa. Let there be. There shall not be any. No Jew. Mm. Neither let there be rain mm. upon you. No fields of offerings. Uh -huh. For the, the shield, the mighty, is vilely cast away. The shield of Saul, as though he had not been anointed ah, with oil. Ah, ah, there is a death that people anointed are not supposed to die. Yeah, boy, yes. David says, so, why did you die? As if your shield is not anointed Imagine. with oil. Why did you die as if your shield is not anointed with, with oil? oil? Mm. Am I communicating to somebody? I feel it. Am I communicating to somebody? <laughs> Meaning there are certain things that are not allowed to people that carry oil. Yes, sir. They were called wise because they carried oil. Yes, they were sir. called foolish because they did not have in daytime, we are the same. Yes, sir. What is the resemblance or the use of oil? Mm. In daytime, we are all the same. Uh -huh. The Bible says it was at midnight. Yes. When the night season came, yes, the sir. lamp is supposed to shine. There are dark seasons, no matter who you are, that will come into your life. It is the oil and the lamp you have that will determine how you will pull through the season. Come on. Am I communicating to somebody here? I hear, I hear. Somebody say, I need oil. I need oil. Somebody say, I need oil. I need oil. Somebody say, I need oil. I need oil. Without oil, you invite inside. There is a time when you read your Bible, Jesus came from the mountain and the Bible says when Jesus came from the mountain, the devil came to tempt him. Mm. And said, if you are the son of God, change stones to bread. Are you not from fasting? Mm. Why are you hungry? Yet you are from fasting. Do you know that sometimes your oil shall be challenged? My God. There are many people, their prayer life has been challenged and that is where they fell. There's a song that says, It is my prayer every day. Father, don't let them say. Don't let them say. Where is my God? It is my prayer every day. Father, don't let them say. Don't let them say. Where is my God? It is in the night season that people begin to question your faith. My God. Oh preacher, why can you not heal your own people? My God. It is in the night season when they say to Jesus, we have seen you heal the sick. Take yourself from the cross. Yeah. And he looks at God and God was looking the other side. And says, my God, why have you forsaken me? My God. Every person who believes in God and has walked the walk of faith has come to a point sometimes where they say to God, why have you forsaken me? Because in that dark season, without a lamb and the oil, everything seems Elijah was a mighty prophet. Elijah was a prophet of God. He would heal the sick, raise the dead, heal leprosy. But it came to a time when Jezebel said, the day will not come if your head is on your neck. The Bible says, Elijah ran away and he hid in a cave. And I heard Elijah say, I am not better than my father's. God, kill me. There is a dark season, no matter how anointed you are. My God. You will see your prayer life being challenged. And you hear a person saying, but I don't think prayer works. And it's that time when you're close to the breakthrough. 
It is that time when someone says, I don't think giving works. But if it was working before, what is happening now? It seems as if you are about to change level. If your prayer is not working, change your prayer. <laughs> change your level of prayer. So Elijah was hiding, said, God, kill me. He, he had to go to God. If you want to commit suicide, why can't you just climb the mountain and fall? He says, no, God, do it. <laughs> kill me. <laughs> the Bible says when God visited him, God says, Elijah, what are you doing here? Because where you are is not where you are supposed to be. The Bible declares in the book of First Samuel chapter number 30. The Bible says David arrived at Ziklag and his family was taken. His child was taken. Everything he had worked for was taken. Praise God. Amen. And the Bible says he was with the men that he was leading. And the Bible says they cried until they could not cry anymore. And the Bible says, but David encouraged himself in the Lord. Look at you and say, where is your oil? Where is your oil? Uh, look at you and say, neighbor, 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 where is your oil? Where exactly is your oil? Praise God. Where is your oil? Where is your oil? Men that carry oil walk in confidence. People that carry for you are bold people. Uh -huh. The Bible says, the wicked flee when no man pursue it, but the righteous shall be bold as a lion. The righteous shall be bold as a lion. A lion. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Hallelujah. I told somebody that we are getting into a season where you will not stand in the fence. You have to choose. It's either you are standing for God or you are a victim of the devil. The season we are about to enter, there is no standing on the fence. You ask your neighbor, where is your oil? Am I communicating with somebody? So, why did you die as if your shield is not anointed with oil? There is a way, there is a way you can be victimized by the devil because you carry oil. Mm -hmm. What is oil? What is the anointing? An anointing is an investment of God into your life for the assignment or purpose of your life. Every time God invests, he protects his investment. That's why I always tell people, fight me in anything, but don't fight me when it comes to my purpose. You would Die like a chicken. Mm. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, I was laughing today in the morning. Anything that belongs to you, you protect. Mm. There are two people I have dealt with the moment she reported them to me. One of them is dead. When you carry oil, <laughs> so, ah, this person is frustrating me at work. How can my wife come from work and she comes and she'll be crying instead of coming to have joy? Ah, it didn't take two months. <laughs> it didn't take two months. Let me leave that one. <laughs> when you carry oil. Last month says, last month says, this one is frustrating me. I said, that one will shift. You will remain there. It will, hear me. When you carry oil, there, there, is, there is a braggadocious, sarcastic faith you carry. If there is an obstacle in front of me in the road to destiny, I'm a bulldozer without brakes. If you hit me, you die. If yes. I hit you, you scatter. Yes. I might look gentle, but don't forget I am from ghetto. Yes. 
Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? My, my prayer might be calm, but there is a volcano in the words I say. Am I communicating to somebody here? I might be saying but in the realm of the spirit the words I'm speaking are intercontinental ballistic missiles angels are opening their wings ready to fight you might see me on a corner don't think that I am calm there is something bubbling in my spirit am I communicating to somebody here I came to this generation to ignite women that carry fire I came to this generation to ignite men that carry fire yeah, yeah, yeah. got to stand to become gigantic people got to stand to become prayer maman to us a prayer to us yes sir my god look at you and say i am a spiritual gagantua if you hit me you die if you hit me you die if i hit you you scatter if i hit you you scatter Am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah, I hear. Am I Jesus. communicating to somebody here? Yes, sir. If you read your Bible yes. in the book of Second Timothy, chapter number three, verse five, the Bible says, "Having the form of godliness, but denying the power." My God. You can't look like God and not operate in the power of God. This generation that we are having nowadays of Chips, popcorn, fluffy generation. Powerless generation without weight. You say to them, read Bible. Bible becomes sleeping tablet. You say to them, pray. They don't pray. Prayer is what brings them laziness. I wait until a problem comes. Look at me and say, where is your oil? Where is your oil? The audacity of those without oil to come and borrow oil from those that were that, that kept their yeah. oil. My God. We, we are getting to be in a generation that is so brutal and rocket. Hear me, hear me. Most of the wicked things that have been hidden are about to be done in the open. My God. People that were hiding when they do their 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 diabolic spiritual things are about to come and tell you your problem i am the one who caused it and at that point you need to stand like david looking at goliath and say you come to me with a shield and a spear but i come in the name of the lord am i communicating to somebody here i said am i communicating to somebody here I come in the name of, of the, the Lord. Lord. David says, the Lord is my shield and my buckler. Who is men that I can fear? Look at him and say, where is your oil? 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 The oil of God breaks the yoke of the devil. Isaiah 10 verse 27. The oil of God breaks the yoke of the devil. What is a yoke? A yoke is something they put on the neck of an, of an animal in order for them to control the direction of the animal. So when we talk about witchcraft and spiritual manipulation, it's a yoke. But by the reason of the oil of God, I stand and I declare over your life. Whoever place the yoke over your life, whatever yoke that has been activated in your life, Break. by the reason of the anointing of the Holy Ghost, yes. let it be broken in the name of Jesus. Am I communicating to somebody here? Break. Break. I said, am I Break. communicating to somebody here? Yeah. What is the Bible saying there? It says, say, and oh. it shall come to pass. It shall come. It means, it means it's a promise with fulfillment. Uh -huh. I get it. Mm -hmm. it shall come to pass. It means there is, there is nothing like it will not happen. It will happen. It must happen. So it shall come to pass. It means it's a promise. That is called a promise is a credit. 
Amen. A promise by God. In the yes. morning, if you listen to what I was speaking about in the morning, it will, it will ignite the fire from the bowels of your spirit. Come on. Mm. That you Come understand on. that when you get to be in prayer, sometimes you do not need to go and just be speaking words haphazardly. No. No, sir. Mm -hmm. Take your Bible. Take a scripture. Practice. Write that scripture. Put it in, not, in a notebook. Amen. Today I'm not coming with many scriptures. This one. You repeat that scripture. You repeat that scripture. You put a problem on that scripture. You put three scriptures targeting the same problem. Targeting the same situation. Hear me. The Bible says his word shall not return to him. Void. God, I'm not praying my words. I'm praying scripture. Amen. If your word is true, do it for me. There are things I don't struggle because when, when I see that this one is now beyond my grammar, this one is now beyond my, my constructive ability in speaking those big vocabularies, Amen. I take a scripture. I take a scripture. The Lord defended his own. I take a scripture. He who watches me neither sleeps nor slumbers. I take a scripture. I am a jealous God. I take a scripture. The Lord's eyes are upon the righteous. I take a scripture and see God manifest his word. Amen. It shall come to pass. What shall come to pass? It shall come to pass uh, in that day. In that day. That his burden shall be taken that away. That the burden shall be taken away. From off thy shoulder. From your shoulder. And his yoke. And the yoke. From off thy neck. From your neck. And the yoke shall be destroyed. The yoke shall be destroyed. Because of the anointing. Because of the mafuta. Because of okobo. Mafura, okobo. That scripture will come back to it again. It says, it says the burden shall be lifted from your shoulders. Uh -huh. Meaning every time there is a burden in your life, it uh -huh. comes on your shoulders. Because it is your shoulders that carry weight. All right. Not cast out the, the <laughs> Number two, the Bible says that, and the yoke shall be removed from your neck. It means the yoke is for the neck, not the shoulders. Remember that Bible is telling us that the, 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 the anointing will destroy the yoke, not the burden. Power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever battle you have been battling in life, I decree, by the reason of the anointing, may you be set free in the name of Jesus. Amen. Set your neighbor, where is your oil? Where is your oil? Number two, what does the oil do? The Bible says, when you read your Bible, the book of 2 Kings chapter number 4, 2 Kings chapter number 4, verse number 2. The Bible speaks about a widow whose husband had died and she was in debt. And she went to the prophet and said, prophet, my husband, your servant, the man of God was righteous. But he has death and he has left our child to be taken as collateral. This thing did not start today. <laughs> Am I communicating somebody? And the Bible declares that the Bible declares that as she was saying that, the Bible says, the man of God says, what do you have in your house? She did not have it everything else but thank God she had an oil she did not have anything else but thank God in a house what she had was oil I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost I receive by the power of the Holy Ghost. I receive. From my mouth to your house. Hallelujah. The same anointing that the Lord has anointed this commission. I pray. May it manifest in your home in the name of Jesus. Amen. Like Naaman, you shall carry the presence of the Lord to your house. Amen. Like Naaman, you shall carry the atmosphere of the Lord to your house. Amen. Like Naaman, you shall carry the same word of the Lord to your house. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody Amen. here? Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. This generation is looking for people that are caring Amen. for you. Yes. Number three, 
Oil brings lubrication. What makes things to become easy in life is the availability of oil. What makes things, things to become easy in life is the availability of oil. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Oh, yes. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Things are hard because things are dry. Things become smooth when oil becomes present. Amen. Oil will soften things. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating somebody here? Amen. Somebody said the anointing of the Lord. The anointing of the Lord. Has rest over my life. Has rest over my life. I'm going to pray this wonderful morning. The anointing of the Lord is going to rest upon your life. Amen. Hear me. One of the things about the Holy Spirit you ask him. I promised you and I said this year. This year. If you remain on the same place it is your laziness. Because the way we are going to move with God and things are going to move. You know when the Bible says in the book of Psalms chapter number 126. What does the Bible say in the book of Psalms 126? Come on. To bath when you carry faith. When you carry oil. Where is your oil? Huh? Psalms 126 verse. Uh -huh. verse what, sorry. From one. When the Lord turned the captivity of when Zion. When the Lord turned the captivity of Zion. We were like them that dream. We were like them that dream. Hear me, hear me, hear me. Then hear was me. our mouth ay, 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 filled ay, 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 ay. with laughter. Hear me. The Bible did not say they laughed. Uh -uh. The turning around of the captivity pumped laughter into their mouth. Come on. There is a way God to turn around your situation. Right. You will not need anything to motivate you to be joyful. Right. Uh, you didn't hear me. There is a way God is going to touch your life this year. There are people you never thought they will cross your path. There are opportunities you never thought will come your way. There, there are doors you never thought to open in your life. But I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above every other name. May the Lord God of heaven be faithful in your life. I say may he be faithful in your life. I say may he be faithful in your life. If you are hearing me shout yes. Yes. My God. The anointing of the Lord is going to rest upon you. The oil of the living God is going to rest upon your life. Amen. One thing I love about the things of God, the things of God are not like practiced. They, they are not like things that are planned. The things of God are highly spiritual. So they are so sophisticated to understand. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? I want you to stand up on your feet. Laka baba kuwakai. My God. We are going to get to a place where I believe as we pray, the anointing and the grace of the Lord has to rest upon somebody. I believe and I know beyond any doubt. I believe and I know beyond any doubt that the oil of the Lord is not going to be found missing the time it is supposed to work in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Anointing all on me. Fall on me. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me. Anointing fall on me. 
sing fall on me Anointing, fall on me. Anointing, fall on me. 